Hey there, Cinematica fans, we're back with another exciting deep dive into a movie that has captured the hearts and minds of millions. Today, we're taking you on a journey through the thrilling and emotional world of Pan Am. Buckle up as we uncover 107 jaw-dropping facts about the 2012 hit movie The Hunger Games. From its origins, to the stellar cast, behind-the-scenes secrets, and more. Welcome to Cinematica, your new home for all things movies and TV. From Doctor Who to Harry Potter, we'll be going through all your favorites and favorite you didn't even know you had. Before we begin, we publish new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Number 1. The first Hunger Games movie is based on the 2008 novel by Suzanne Collins. This best-selling book is the initial entry in a trilogy which also includes Catching Fire in 2009 and Mockingjay in 2010. Collins drew inspiration from the Greek myth of Theseus and the Minotaur and her father's experiences in the US Air Force, which exposed her to the realities of war at a young age. Number 2. Before the film adaptation took the world by storm, the Hunger Games book series had already sold over 26 million copies in the United States. With translations into more than 50 languages, these books became a worldwide sensation. Number 3. Gary Ross, who directed Pleasantville in 1998 and Seabiscuit in 2003, was chosen to helm the first Hunger Games film. His unique vision and ability to create deeply emotional and character-driven stories made him the perfect fit for the project. Number 4. Suzanne Collins co-wrote the screenplay with Gary Ross and Billy Ray. This collaboration ensured that the film stayed true to the source material. Although Collins had never written a screenplay before, her background as a television writer helped her adapt to the new format. Number 5. Jennifer Lawrence, who played Katniss Everdeen, was selected for the role after several other actresses were considered, including Haley Steinfeld, Abigail Breslin, and Emma Roberts. Lawrence's raw talent and ability to convey the character's strength and vulnerability ultimately won her the part. Number 6. In the book series, Katniss Everdeen is 16 years old. However, the filmmakers decided to age her up to 17 for the film adaptation, believing it would make her more relatable to a wider audience. Number 7. To prepare for the role of Katniss, Jennifer Lawrence underwent extensive training, including archery, parkour, and sprinting. She also practiced skinning squirrels and learned how to use a bow and arrow with Olympic archer Katuna Lorig. Number 8. Lorig, a five-time Olympian who coached Lawrence, also trained other Hollywood actors in archery, such as Gina Davis and Orlando Bloom. Number 9. Josh Hutcherson, who portrays Peter Malark, was a fan of the Hunger Games books before being cast in the role. He was drawn to the character's complexity and the story's powerful themes. Number 10. Liam Hemsworth, who plays Gail Hawthorne, originally auditioned for the role of Peta. However, the casting directors felt that he was better suited to portray Gail, Katniss's childhood friend and hunting partner. Number 11. The central love triangle between Katniss, Peta, and Gail was one of the most talked about aspects of the series. The actors themselves had great chemistry on and off screen, making it even more convincing for the audience. Number 12. Woody Harrelson was cast as Hamish Abernathy, the drunken mentor to Katniss and Peta. Harrelson brought depth and humor to the character, making him a fan favorite. Before Harrelson's casting, John C. Riley and Hugh Laurie were also considered for the role. Number 13. Elizabeth Banks portrayed Effie Trinket, the eccentric and colorful capital escort for District 12's tributes. Banks' transformation into the character involved hours of makeup and elaborate costumes, making her nearly unrecognizable. Number 14. Lenny Kravitz made his major film debut as Cinna, Katniss's compassionate and innovative stylist. Kravitz was personally recommended for the role by Jennifer Lawrence, who had previously worked with him on the film X-Men First Class in 2011. Number 15. Amandla Stenberg played Rue, a young tribute from District 11, who forms a close bond with Katniss during the games. Stenberg, who was only 13 at the time, delivered a heart-wrenching performance that left a lasting impression on viewers. Number 16. The iconic three-finger salute scene in the movie was developed by Jennifer Lawrence and director Gary Ross. It symbolizes unity and rebellion against the capital, becoming a powerful motif throughout the series. 
Number 17. The film's score was composed by James Newton Howard, known for his work on movies like The Dark Knight from 2008 and King Kong from 2005. Howard created a powerful and emotional soundtrack that perfectly complemented the film's intense atmosphere. Number 18. The movie's famous Hanging Tree song, sung by Jennifer Lawrence's character, was written by Suzanne Collins and composed by James Newton Howard. The haunting melody became an instant hit, even making its way onto music charts. Number 19. The Hunger Games was primarily shot in North Carolina, with locations in the Asheville, Charlotte, and Shelby areas. The beautiful and diverse landscapes of the state provided the perfect backdrop for the dystopian world of Pan Am. Number 20. The film's budget was around $78 million, a relatively modest amount for a blockbuster of its scale. Despite the budget constraints, the film went on to gross over $694 million worldwide, making it a massive box office success. Number 20. 21. Many of the film's action sequences, including the intense cornucopia scene, were shot using handheld cameras. This technique added a sense of urgency and realism to the movie, placing the audience right in the middle of the action. Number 22. Jennifer Lawrence's on-screen bow and arrow skills were so impressive that she accidentally shot a stuntman with a real arrow during a practice session. Fortunately, he was wearing protective gear and was not seriously injured. Number 23. The intricate and unique costumes worn by the Capitol's citizens were designed by Judiana Makovsky, who drew inspiration from various historical periods, such as the Elizabethan era, the French Revolution, and the 1930s. Number 24. The Capitol's flamboyant fashion and makeup were a deliberate contrast to the bleak, utilitarian style of the districts, visually emphasizing the vast disparity between the ruling class and the oppressed citizens of Pan Am. Number 25. The film faced some controversy over its PG-13 rating, as some critics felt the violent content was too intense for young audiences. However, the filmmakers worked closely with the Motion Picture Association to ensure the movie was accessible to its target demographic without compromising its core themes. Number 26. To create the mutant dog-like creatures known as mutations that appeared near the end of the movie, a combination of practical effects and CGI was used. The design of the creatures was inspired by various breeds of dogs and wolves. Number 27. Jennifer Lawrence and Josh Hutcherson were both injured on set during the filming of The Hunger Games. Lawrence suffered from hearing loss in one ear due to a mishap with a jet of water, while Hutcherson sustained a concussion when Lawrence accidentally kicked him in the head during a stunt. Number 28. The poisonous berries featured in the movie, known as Nightlock, are actually blueberries and were painted black to create a more sinister appearance. Number 29. The film's iconic girl on fire costume was created using a combination of practical effects and CGI. The flames were added in post-production to ensure the safety of the actors and crew. Number 30. The dystopian society of Pan Am is divided into 12 districts, each responsible for producing specific goods or services for the capital. This division of labor and the oppressive regime controlling the districts serve as a commentary on social inequality and the potential dangers of unchecked power. Number 31. Willow Shields, who played Primrose Everdeen, was only 11 years old when she was cast in the role. Shields portrayed Katniss's younger sister in all four films, growing up alongside her character throughout the series. Number 32. Wes Bentley, who played head game maker Seneca Crane, had to spend hours in the makeup chair each day to achieve the character's intricate facial hair design. Number 33. Jennifer Lawrence's performance in The Hunger Games earned her numerous accolades, including a Saturn Award for Best Actress and a Teen Choice Award for Choice Movie Actress Sci-Fi Fantasy. Number 34. The Hunger Games received a total of eight MTV Movie nominations in 2012, winning four of them. Best Female Performance, Jennifer Lawrence. Best Male Performance, Josh Hutcherson. Best Fight and Best On-Screen Transformation, Elizabeth Banks. Number 35. The film was also nominated for a Golden Globe Award for Best Original Song for Safe and Sound, performed by Taylor Swift and the Civil Wars. The song was written specifically for the movie and plays during the end credits. Number 36. The Hunger Games received generally positive reviews from critics, with many praising the performances, especially that of Jennifer Lawrence, as well as the film's themes and social commentary. Number 37. 
Following the release of the first film, the Hunger Games franchise expanded to include various merchandise, such as action figures, board games, and clothing lines, further cementing its status as a pop culture phenomenon. Number 38, a Hunger Games theme park featuring attractions and experiences based on the films was introduced in 2015. The park, called The World of the Hunger Games, opened in Dubai in 2017 as part of the Motion Gate Dubai theme park. Number 39, in 2020, Suzanne Collins released released a prequel novel titled The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which explores the early life of President Snow, the main antagonist in the original trilogy. A film adaptation of this prequel is currently in development. Number 40. The Hunger Games film series has had a lasting impact on pop culture, inspiring a new wave of dystopian adult fiction and prompting discussions about social issues such as income inequality and the consequences of war. Number 41. The Hunger Games also influenced fashion trend, with the film's futuristic and avant-garde capital styles inspiring bold makeup looks and elaborate hairstyles among fans. Number 42. In 2013, a theatrical production called The Hungry Hungry Games, a parody was created, poking fun at the film and its cultural impact. The parody received positive reviews and was enjoyed by fans of the franchise. Number 43. The film's success helped launch the careers of several young actors, including Amanda Stenberg, who has since starred in movies such as Everything Everything in 2017 and The Hate You Give in 2018. Number 44. The training center used in the film was actually an abandoned cigarette factory in North Carolina. The building was transformed into a futuristic facility where the tributes prepare for the games. Number 45. The cornucopia, where the tributes begin their battle in the arena, was made of a combination of fiberglass, steel, and foam. It took approximately four weeks to construct and weighed nearly 9,000 pounds. Number 46. To create the illusion of the arena's force field, the special effects team used a combination of practical effects and CGI. In some scenes, a thin wire was used to simulate the impact of the barrier on the actors and objects. Number 47. The film's marketing campaign included a series of Capital Couture posters, showcasing the unique fashions worn by the characters of the movie. The posters generated buzz and excitement among fans leading up to the film's release. Number 48. The Hunger Games salute became a symbol of protest and resistance in real-life political movements, with demonstrators using the gesture to express solidarity and defiance against oppressive regimes. Number 49. In 2014, a mobile game called The Hunger Games Pan Am Rising was released, allowing players to recruit characters from the movies and build their own team of rebels to fight against the capital. Number 50. The Hunger Games also helped pave the way for other successful young adult book-to-film adaptations, such as Divergent in 2014 and The Maze Runner in that very same year, creating a surge in dystopian themed movies and television shows. Number 51. The character of Katniss Everdeen has been praised for her strong, resourceful, and compassionate nature. She's become a feminist icon and a positive role model for young women around the world. Number 52. The Hunger Games has inspired numerous fan creations, including fan art, fan fiction, and cosplay. The film's passionate fanbase continues to celebrate and engage with the story and its characters years after the release of the final film. Number 53. A documentary titled The World is Watching, Making the Hunger Games was released in 2012, providing fans with an in-depth look at the production process, interviews with the cast and crew, and exclusive behind-the-scenes footage. Number 54. The first Hunger Games film was followed by three sequels. The Hunger Games, Catching Fire in 2013, the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 in 2014, and The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 in 2015. The series concluded with the final installment, which brought the epic story to a close. Number 55. The Hunger Games remains a cultural touchstone and an important piece of contemporary cinema, continuing to resonate with audiences and inspire new generations of fans. Number 56. Jennifer Lawrence was only 20 years old when she began filming The Hunger Games, and she celebrated her 21st birthday on set. The cast and crew surprised her with a birthday cake to mark the occasion. Number 57. The odds of winning The Hunger Games are famously said to be not in the tribute's favor. The phrase, may the odds be ever in your favor, has since become an iconic line and popular catchphrase among fans. Number 58. The film's arena was designed to be a treacherous environment, with various hidden 
dangers and deadly traps. The production team used a combination of practical sets, on-location shooting, and CGI to bring the arena to life. Number 59. The Tracker Jackers, the genetically engineered wasps featured in the film, were created using CGI. Their venom induces powerful hallucinations, which were depicted through a combination of visual and sound effects to create a disorienting experience for both the characters and the audience. Number 60. In one of the film's most emotional scenes, Rue's death is followed by a rare act of defiance from District 11. This uprising was not depicted in the book, but was added in the film to emphasize the impact of Rue's death on other districts and foreshadow the Brewing Rebellion. Number 61. In the film, Katniss sings a lullaby to Rue as she dies. This song, titled Rue's Lullaby, was composed by James Newton Howard and features lyrics written by Suzanne Collins. Number 62. To create the distinctive, futuristic look of the capital, the production team used a combination of real locations, set design, and CGI. The city's sleek, modern architecture and advanced technology contrast sharply with the impoverished conditions of the districts. Number 63. The capital's lavish and decadent lifestyle is depicted through extravagant sets, costumes, and makeup. These elements help to convey the vast wealth and privilege enjoyed by the capital's citizens at the expense of the districts. Number 64. The character of Caesar Flickerman, played by Stanley Tucci, serves as the face of the capital and the host of The Hunger Games. His flashy appearance and charismatic personality reflect the capital's obsession with entertainment and spectacle. Number 65. In preparation for the film, the cast underwent district training, where they learned survival skills such as building fires, making shelters, and navigating through the wilderness. Number 66. The film's climax takes place at the Cornucopia, where the remaining tributes face off in a desperate battle for survival. This scene was meticulously choreographed and rehearsed to create a sense of chaos and tension. Number 67. The character of Cato, played by Alexander Ludwig, was portrayed as a ruthless and skilled fighter. Ludwig trained extensively for the role, learning various forms of martial arts and weapons techniques. Number 68. The romance between Katniss and Peeta, known as Everlark by fans, became one of the central plot lines of the series. Their relationship evolves throughout the films, reflecting the complex emotional and psychological challenges they face. Number 69. The film's final scene, in which Katniss and Peeta return to District 12 as victors, was filmed at the Henry River Mill Village in North Carolina. This abandoned mill town was transformed into a desolate and haunting backdrop for the scene. Number 70. The Hunger Games featured a talented ensemble cast, including several actors who would go on to find success in other film and television projects such as Jenna Malone, Sam Claflin, and Natalie Dormer. Number 71. The film's release was accompanied by a robust merchandising campaign, including a line of Hunger Games-themed nail polish colors such as Flaming Gems, Electrify, and Riveting. Number 72. In addition to its commercial success, The Hunger Games has been the subject of academic study and analysis. Scholars have explored the film's themes of power, control, and resistance, as well as its depiction of gender roles and societal structures. Cheers. Number 73. The character of President Snow, played by Donald Sutherland, serves as the primary antagonist of the series. His cold, calculating demeanor and iron grip on the people of Panna make him a formidable foe for Katniss and her allies. Number 74. Several of the film's locations have become popular tourist destinations for fans, who visit the sites to retrace the footsteps of their favorite characters and immerse themselves in the world of Pan Am. Number 75. The unique weapons used in the film, such as Katniss's bow and arrow and Peeta's camouflage skills, were carefully researched and designed to reflect the characters' backgrounds and personalities. Number 76. The film's visual effects team faced the challenge of creating the many fantastical elements of the story, such as the capital's advanced technology, the arena's deadly traps, and the genetically engineered creatures that inhabit Pan Am. Number 77. The film's sound design played a crucial role in creating the immersive atmosphere of the movie. From the subtle sounds of the forest to the deafening roar of the arena, the audio elements were carefully crafted to enhance the viewing experience. Number 78. The Hunger Games 
spawned a series of successful sequels, with each film building upon the story's themes and expanding the scope of the narrative. The franchise's enduring popularity demonstrates its continuing relevance and resonance with audiences. Number 79. The film's marketing campaign made extensive use of social media, with teaser trailers, posters, and other promotional content shared across platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This strategy helped to generate excitement and anticipation among fans leading up to the movie's release. Number 80. The Hunger Games has been referenced and parodied in various forms of media, including television shows, films, and music videos, reflecting its impact on popular culture and its status as a modern classic. Number 81. The film's success helped to establish Lionsgate as a major player in the film industry. The studio has since produced a number of high-profile movies and franchises, including John Wick in 2014, La La Land in 2016, and Knives Out in 2019. Number 82. Jennifer Lawrence's portrayal of Katniss Everdeen has been widely praised for her emotional depth and physicality. The role solidified her status as a leading actress and made her one of the most recognizable stars in Hollywood. Number 83. The film's legacy has inspired countless fan theories, speculations, and debates, with fans continuing to analyze and dissect the story, characters, and themes years after the movie's release. Number 84. The Hunger Games has been translated into over 50 languages and distributed in more than 60 countries, reflecting the film's global appeal and the universality of its themes. Number 85. The movie's opening weekend box office gross of $152.5 million in the United States made it the third highest opening weekend at the time, behind The Dark Knight in 2008 and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 in 2011. Number 86. The Hunger Games was the first film to gross over $400 million at the North American box office without being released during the summer or holiday season. Number 87. The film's success sparked a renewed interest in archery, with many fans taking up the sport in admiration of Katniss's skills. Number 88. The reaping scene in which the tributes are chosen was shot in an open-air location in Shelby, North Carolina. The set was designed to resemble a small town square. Number 89. The reaping scene was carefully choreographed to create a sense of tension and dread. The moment when Primrose Everdeen's name is called and Katniss volunteers in her place is a turning point in the story and sets the stage for the rest of the film. Number 90. The film's score, composed by James Newton Howard, plays an essential role in evoking the emotional tone of the movie. The music combines orchestral, electronic, and tribal elements, creating a unique and memorable soundtrack. Number 91. The film's costume design, led by Judiana Makovsky, involved creating district looks for each of the districts, as well as the extravagant fashions of the capital. The costumes reflect the characters' backgrounds and personalities, as well as the socioeconomic disparities within Pan Am. Number 92. The editing of The Hunger Games was crucial in maintaining the film's pacing and intensity. The movie's editor, Stephen Mirioni, had the challenging task of balancing the quieter, character-driven moments with the action-packed scenes in the arena. Number 93. The film's cinematography, led by Tom Stern, made use of a handheld camera style to create an intimate and immersive viewing experience. This approach helped to convey the urgency and danger of the story, as well as the emotional intensity of the characters' experiences. Number 94. The Hunger Games has been praised for its diverse cast, which includes actors of various ethnicities and backgrounds. This diversity reflects the wide range of people living in the world of Pan Am and adds to the film's authenticity and richness. Number 95. A significant part of the film's appeal lies in its strong, relatable characters, who face tremendous challenges and must make difficult choices. The emotional journeys of these characters, particularly Katniss Everdeen, resonate with audiences and make the story both engaging and thought-provoking. Number 96. The Hunger Games has been credited with helping to revitalize the young adult film genre, which had seen a decline in popularity following the conclusion of the Harry Potter series. The movie's success demonstrated the ongoing appeal of stories that explore the challenges and complexities of adolescence. Number 97. The film's production involved extensive location scouting to find the perfect settings for the various scenes. Locations used in the movie include the DuPont State Recreational Forest, Charlotte Convention Center, and the North Fork Reservoir in North Carolina. Number 98. 
The film's climactic scene, in which Katniss and Peeta threaten to eat the poisonous berries and force the capital's hand, has been praised for its emotional intensity and its powerful depiction of defiance and resistance. Number 99. The release of The Hunger Games in 2012 coincided with the rise of streaming platforms such as Netflix and Hulu, which helped to introduce the film to new audiences and expand its fan base. Number 100. In the years since its release, The Hunger Games has remained a beloved and influential film, with its its themes, characters, and story continuing to captivate and inspire viewers from around the world. Number 101. The success of The Hunger Games has led to increased interest in and adaptations of other dystopian novels, reflecting the continued fascination with stories that explore the darker aspects of human nature and the potential consequences of unchecked power. Number 102. The film's exploration of the power dynamics between the capital and the district serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of authoritarianism and the importance of standing up against oppression. Number 103. The Hunger Games has been praised for its strong female lead, who challenges traditional gender roles and expectations. Katniss Everdeen's courage, determination, and selflessness have made her an enduring feminist icon. Number 104. The movie's themes of survival, sacrifice, and the importance of community resonate with audiences and contribute to the film's lasting impact. These themes serve as a reminder of the strength of the human spirit and the power of unity in the face of adversity. Number 105. The Hunger Games has inspired a range of fan-created content, including fan fiction, fan art, and cosplay. This thriving fan community reflects the deep connection that many viewers feel with the film and its characters. Number 106. The film's portrayal of the dystopian society of Pan Am has been compared to other classic works of dystopian fiction, such as George Orwell's 1984 and Aldous Huxley's Brave New World. These comparisons highlight the enduring relevance of dystopian narratives in exploring the darker aspects of human society. Number 107. The Hunger Games has left an indelible mark on popular culture, with its story, characters, and themes continuing to resonate with audiences around the world. As a groundbreaking film that has inspired countless adaptations and sparked important conversations, The Hunger Games will undoubtedly remain a beloved and influential work for years to come. We hope you enjoyed our journey through the 107 fast fascinating facts about the first Hunger Games movie. This iconic film continues to captivate audiences and spark important conversations even after all these years. Until next time, take care and happy watching! Did you enjoy our list? What facts do you think we missed? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, like and subscribe to see more great videos every week. And remember, Frederator loves you!